So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Hobby Weld um, gas, the larger bottles over there, rather than these uh, smaller 2.2 litres or the even smaller pathetic little disposable ones. This is disposable as well, and um, those ones have the advantage of fitting the standard gas regulator that comes with all these hobby type MIG gas welders. I think SIP and Clark and all that lot do all roughly the same ones. Um, it's actually really easy just to convert it over to uh, use the bigger bottles, which are much better value. So I'll quickly show you how that's done. So if we look at the existing bottle, you've got the small regulator here and it's got um, a outlet tube connector here, uh, which takes a plastic tube such as this, of course, goes straight to the back of your MIG um, and everything's fine. Now, when you, you've got two options for connecting the bottle. You'll see over there, it's got a female connection for argon, for an argon regulator. And these cheap Chinese ones are for CO2. So let's start with the existing um, regulator. So here we've got the small bottle regulator, which comes with most uh, MIG welders and things. And um, it comes with the typical tube connection over there. And over here, we've got the uh, uh, carbon dioxide CO2 regulator, this male connection over there. And the Hobby Weld 5, um, being predominantly argon, comes with the female connection. So there's a couple of things we've got to change here. Uh, first of all, if you're going to use the cheap eBay Chinese uh, CO2 regulator, you're going to have to get a male to male adapter, get some PTFE tape on it. In she pops, he says. There we go, like so. And then on the actual regulator itself, when you buy them, down here you don't have that fitted. So you have it comes with one of these, which is a standard hose type connector. So unscrew that and screw in one of these. Now to buy these, the cheapest way to get them, these are for 3D printer Bowden tubes. So they've kind of merged over from the gas market into the 3D filament printing market. And so if you buy them from there, they're usually a lot cheaper. If you Google it or look on eBay for um, 3D printer Bowden tube connectors, you'll see they look like this. There's obviously a extension one there. And this is Bowden filament tube, which is um, two meters, cost a few quid. So all we need to do is one end on our new two meters of filament tube. Connect it up to this, down here, on that one, and the other end into there. And it really is just that simple. And then you can connect the two up onto that. And you're literally good to go. It's, it's that easy. Now the Hobby Well was five gas. Um, I actually find pretty good. It's good value. I think I paid uh 60 pounds for the cylinder or 58 pounds something around there for cylinder and then about 45 quid for the gas itself and obviously you can just uh go and have it refilled or swap it for a new one each time so there we go stuff you need two meters of bowden tube for a 3d printer one connector and and you just need the argon um co2 adapter so it's 5 8 BSP right hand, which you can pick up off eBay or any welding supply. And again, to connect it up, you literally just take this end here, dangle it around, shove it in the end of your uh, existing MIG. Now, finally, everyone's wondering, I suppose, is how much longer they last. So the small bottles, you get the disposable ones. I mean, you all know they're shockingly expensive, 13, 18 quid each, something like that, and last... Um, nanoseconds really so we'll just ignore those this one's not too bad um, for the hobbyist um, I've used these when I've not been using the MIG for a long time and um, these hold about 2.2 litres of gas and um, they cost you can buy them actually for as cheap as about 22 quid plus delivery but that then ends up being about 30 pounds um, or you can buy them on eBay as well and they're about they range there from about 29 to 40 quid each so i suppose on average about 30 pounds ish for 2200 liters or 2.2 cubic meters 
and our friend over there, the Hobby World 5. Now this apparently holds about 6.3 cubic meters expanded gas um, compared to the 2.2 of the smaller one down there. Um, so it's a lot more gas, it's a, at least three times as much or roughly three times as much and it costs um, whatever it is, about 10 pounds more worth of gas to fill it up. So it's definitely a bit of value and it lasts longer now. Um, I would say that it probably holds more than that because if we look back down to this one, it actually says it holds 2.2 litres at 100 bar. Um, and this is 137 bar and 9 litres. So I'll let you do the maths, but that basically doesn't add up to what the spec sheet says of 1.4, uh, sorry, of 6.23 uh, cubic metres. And I know it's temperature differential matters with this kind of thing. Um, but I and just using this one as well, it doesn't appear to go down at a third of the rate of the smaller one. I would say it goes down at about 20% of the smaller one, which suggests there's a lot more gas in there. Anyway, without a doubt, easy to connect and um, definitely worth the money.